In this video I'm going to show you how to use Sigma Excel to create scatter plots and a scatter plot matrix. Uh, this example is taken from the Sigma Excel workbook. Now for this example we are using the customer data data set. You can find this data set in the sample data folder which is in your Sigma Excel installation directory. Now once you have the data set open, click on graphical tools and click on scatter plots. Make sure your entire data table is selected and click next. Now for your numeric response, select overall satisfaction. For your numeric predictor, select average days order to delivery time. And under display options, make sure that 95% confidence interval and 95% prediction interval are selected, as well as trend line, and click OK. And you'll see that the resulting scatter plot is shown with the equation, trend line, 95% uh, confidence interval, which are these blue lines as well as the 95% prediction interval, which are the red lines here. Now this equation is based on linear regression, which is using the method of least squares. Uh, R squared times 100 is the percent variation of Y explained by X, here 10.3%. Now we want to redo the scatter plot matrix to stratify it by customer type. So click on the Recall Sigma XL dialog. Leave everything the same, but for group category, select customer type and uncheck both 95% confidence and prediction intervals and click OK. Now if I zoom out, you'll see that three individual scatter plots are created. And if you look at these scatter plots, um, they'd indicate that customer type 3 is actually happier if orders take longer but that doesn't make any sense. Uh, customer satisfaction scores should not increase with order to delivery time increasing. So uh, what's happening here? Uh, this is just a coincidental situation. Something else is driving customer satisfaction. Uh, we're now going to look at a scatter plot matrix to help investigate other factors that could be influencing customer satisfaction. Uh, now a tip is to be careful when interpreting scatter plots. Uh, y versus X correlation or statistical significance does not always mean that we have a causal relationship. For example, umbrella sales are highly correlated to traffic accidents, but we can't reduce the rate of traffic accidents by purchasing fewer umbrellas. The best way to validate a relationship is to perform a de design of experiments. Now to create a scatter plot matrix, click on sheet one of your data set, click on graphical tools, and click scatter plot matrix. Use the entire data set and click Next. Now select the variable average days order uh, per average number of orders per month rather and then shift click on staff knowledge. That will select all of the variables and click the numeric data variable Y button. So all of the variables are selected between average number of orders uh, per month and staff knowledge and you can click OK. Now a scatter plot matrix is created which compares every variable to every other variable. Um, now zooming in just a little bit here, um, of particular interest is overall satisfaction versus responsiveness to calls rather and uh, ease of communication. Uh, here and here. Um, these are going to be explored later in another video that deals with multiple linear regression. 